What's up creators, this is Connor with your weekly news flash, all of the official updates you need from YouTube in this nicely parceled update. Short, quick, to the point. Let's get to it. First up, we have some really exciting news when it comes to Premiere's 2.0 and the fact that two key features are expanding to 100% of channels. These two features are library directs and trailers. These were mentioned in our Premiere's 2.0 video. Now, previously they were only available to channels with a thousand subscribers, but we're happy to announce that the eligibility criteria has changed and now all channels are eligible to use these two features. Next up, we have something that's really gonna interest anybody who likes looking at their analytics. What we've done is implemented a new feature on desktop in analytics, which will let you compare your video's performance over time. These dot plots will allow you to track your performance over the first 24 hours, first seven hours, and first 28 days of your video's lifetime on the platform. To get this report, just go to analytics, click on the advanced mode, compare to, and select first 24 hours video performance. Here you can see your top bottom videos over time. In this example, every dot on this chart is a video in its first 24 hours. You can also hover over the graph to see what each video is and dive deeper into that video's analytics. Pretty neat, right? And now lastly, we have our favorite bit of any news flash, which is your questions. And that means I have to put on my glasses so I can read this fabulous question from, which comes from Marco E. Jimenez Posenza, who asks, out of curiosity, if a video is 10 minutes long, but the speed is times two, then I just spend five minutes watching the video. Therefore, it would be interesting to know how the playback speed is showcased on Creator Studio. Well, we followed up with the team who have clarified. They say, in this case, the watch time numbers you see in analytics will be five minutes, not 10 minutes. However, the audience retention chart is based on the full video length, regardless of the playback speed. And they said they hope this helps. As do I, this has been your weekly news flash from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. We hope you have a good week and we'll see you next week.